tuning we do the claw hammer version it's done in the standard G tuning something bluegrass players will often do they'll just leave their banjo in standard G tuning if they're playing what we call a modal tune but they'll compensate for that by fretting the second string first fret for a good deal of the tune and as you can see in that example there keeping that fretted for just about all of the A parts only in B part where we depart from that and even then we're avoiding almost uh, everywhere getting that open second string, the natural B in there. We're trying to keep either the C, the first fret note, or the D, uh, second fret, uh, third fret note, I'm sorry, sounding the whole time. There it is, as you see it on the tabs, nice and slow. There are two B parts on the tablature, um, um, B and B prime. We'll, uh, we'll do both of them. B prime is a little bit of a variation. The B prime the second B part, the variation, maintains that forward-backward roll that we're introducing in the in the A part. Um, still pretty noty, pretty um, ornate, but uh, it's a doable one. The first B part is a little bit easier, more pinching, a little bit truer to the uh, to the fiddle tune melody of Clark Old. Uh, here we go, nice and slow. Here's the A part first. One, three, four. It adds a little bit of a, a rhythm to it that you don't get when you have just a full cascading series of eighth notes. It gives it a little bit of an oomph. Something you don't get yet, uh, with a lot of notes to it. Uh, here is the second beat part, the one that continues that uh, forward backward roll. string, uh, fifth fret, and the third string, third fret to close it off. And as you can see in the tabs, there's a variation you can do on that. You can bring it back to the same ending we had before. Here's how it would work with that. Back. Still 
getting the open first string, now I'm getting the second string first fret with the index finger, still getting the third string third fret there, only now, since my hand is moved back, I'm getting it with the ring finger rather than the index finger. So there's a difference between the two. sound, although only one note varies, um, but given that one note varying, we have to move our hand to play it in a different position. Either way is fine, you can avoid varying it and do it one way or the other, it doesn't matter. Um, that's about it.